Hey, what's up you guys? It's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I tried out these DIY lash extensions. I'm super happy with how they came out, but they were harder than I expected. So if you're going to do this, plan out for like 45 minutes to an hour if you're doing it for the first time it is kind of a process also i just want to let you guys know i'm not a professional i'm not trying to be a professional this is just how i did it because i wanted lash extensions but i didn't want to pay 150 to 200 dollars for them this all in total cost about 10 dollars 15 dollars at max and yeah so i'm just really excited with how they turned out so i hope you guys really enjoy this video i had a lot of fun making it for you and let's get started so the only thing you're going to need for this is the ardell individuals and this packet comes with short black medium black and long black lashes so you can choose and then it has the adhesive and the remover so Usually you don't have to do this, but I did this because I wanted a black glue because when I did watch some tutorials They were saying that the white glue left some residue and I don't want that. So I just went ahead and Nice, so I just went ahead and picked up the Ardell professional lash tight for individual lashes and the dark adhesive And it looks like this. I got this at Sally's for like five dollars I got this at Ulta for like eight dollars and then all I need is these tweezers and this is just how I'm going to be applying them. Now I am going to be applying them under my lashes so that you won't be able to see where they start and stop on my regular lashes. And when I apply them, I am going to be applying them to my natural lashes. Do not try to apply them to your waterline or anything like that. That'll be extremely painful. Um, this is my first time trying these. I've heard they last two to three weeks if you take care of them properly. Um, stay away from any oil removers like makeup removers or anything like that. Oil makes them kind of come off quicker. Also, don't try to apply false lashes on over these. I've seen people try that and then the glue gets them to be all crazy and stuff. So those are just some tips before I begin and we're going to get into it. So this is my first time doing it. I hope it goes well because I never wear makeup in my everyday life. So just having these on would just make me look more put together. Um, this isn't for everybody and if you, you know, feel like these might be too much then you just want to do the short lashes. Go ahead. If you feel like this isn't enough, you could do the long lashes. Whatever you guys feel comfortable with, you could do and we will get started. Okay, so I'm going to start out by doing the medium size. I'm going to do that on most of my eyelid and I'm going to put two or three of the smaller ones on my inner corner and then I'm going to put like two of the larger ones on my outer lash. So just to give you guys a little bit of the game plan because I'm not going to be able to talk while I'm doing this. So yeah. So this is how they came out. I ended up doing three, I believe, long lashes and I did about three short lashes and then the rest are medium. Um, I'm not noticing any discomfort. It feels pretty good, light, not heavy. If you saw me in the video, I'm putting them under my lash. I think I told you that before I started. This is just so that like when you look down, it looks like it's coming right out of your root. It's like the where it starts isn't traceable. Um, so that's just kind of what look I was going for. Um, I have really small eyes, so I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them, but I'm liking them so far. And yeah, so this is the difference. This is the eye that's done. Obviously, this is the eye that's not done. And I'm going to go ahead and do the second eye now.
So this is the final look. I really like how they turned out. Um, I'm sorry if like at any point my hand or the mirror was covering. This is my first time trying this out. And I just wanted to try this for you guys. It was definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. But I'm super happy with the outcome. And I'll let you guys know in the comments. Um, I'll post a comment and tell you when they do finally come off. So you guys can know how long you should expect to have them on for. And so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I hope you think that these are a really good dupe for eyelash extensions that you get from a professional. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. And I will see you in next Friday's video. Bye guys.